When a probability value is below the alpha level, the effect is statistically significant, and the null hypothesis is rejected. However, not all statistically significant effects should be treated the same way. For example, you should have more confidence that the null hypothesis is false if p equals 0.003 than if p equals 0.049. Keep in mind that rejecting the null hypothesis is not an all-or-none proposition. In the physician's reactions case study, the null hypothesis is the population mean of obese patients equals the population mean of average weight patients. If this null hypothesis is rejected, then there are two alternatives. One, the population mean of obese patients is less than the population mean of average weight patients. Or two, the population mean of obese patients is greater than the population mean of average weight patients. Naturally, the direction of the sample means determines which alternative is adopted. If the sample mean for the obese patients is lower than the sample mean for the average weight patients, then you should conclude that the population mean for the obese patients is lower than the population mean for the average weight patients. There are many situations in which it is very unlikely two conditions will have exactly the same population means. For example, it is practically impossible that aspirin and acetaminophen provide exactly the same degree of pain relief. Therefore, even before an experiment comparing their effectiveness is conducted, the researcher knows that the null hypothesis of exactly no difference is almost certainly false. However, the researcher does not know which drug offers more relief. If a test of the difference is significant, then the direction of the difference is established.